there, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share what I created for the Open Collab Deck the Year. So this collaboration is hosted by Penny from Penny's Crafty Creations. And the point of the collab is to take one playing card and alter it just as you would an artist trading card. So it's one card every Thursday and you can pick whatever card you'd like. I randomly pick my cards and um, I'm having so much fun with this collab. It's really enjoyable to be able to go back and look at how I've decided to create the artist trading card for that particular week. So let's get into it and I'll share what I made for this week. So if you watched my video from last week, you know that I selected the Queen of Spades and that's the card that I altered here. And uh, what I did was I made an alcohol and acrylic uh, paint background. And um, I really liked the way that it turned out. Uh, I used some metallic paint and of course some alcohol ink and just did a really colorful, pretty background and then cut it to the size of an artist trading card. So two and a half by three and a half. Um, I still have some scraps left from that really um, a pretty design that I made and uh, hopefully you can see some of the metallic coming through. That was the metallic paint that I added, metallic acrylic paint um, and alcohol uh, ink. So um, just a unique combination. I thought it was very, very pretty and so I wanted to do a very simple design. So I added a few little flat backs, some um, little glitter um, flower and star shaped almost um, little pieces there and then um, this is a faux wax stamp that just says love that um, I just wanted to include a little sentiment uh, but nothing too much and I really like all the design in the um, the way that the background turned out so I didn't want to distract too much from that but then I also wanted to include a little bit of interest and dimension. So that's why I added those little, um, almost like rhinestone pieces. Uh, and then here's a look at the back of the card. Of course, I always put what the card is and the date, um, but that is uh, purely optional. It's just something for myself so that I can go back and remember what the card was. Um, and as I said, I do shuffle the deck and then pick my card randomly, but of course, Everyone's doing this collaboration different. Um, some people are choosing to, you know, add their cards to a binder ring and some are just adding them into a little um, sleeve and they're saving them that way. I have a little um, case that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, a little wooden box that I'm saving all mine in. And it's just fun to create um, a little card every single week. So. That's what I made for this week. I hope you enjoy taking a look. Now, please be sure to follow the hashtag so you can see all the creators. I want to thank Penny again for hosting. I'm going to come back and shuffle the deck and pick my card for next week. It is kind of fun to feel the deck shrinking a little bit. Um, as we go through every week and choose a different card. Here's my card for next week. It's the Seven of Clubs. So Seven of Clubs is what I'll be altering next week. I hope you will check back and see how I decide to uh, turn that into an artist trading card. So if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.